Welcome back. We're here at the Market Building with Susan Jennings. We're going to talk about the Second Sunday Art Market. And Susan, introduce your guest you have Yes, with us I'd love to. This is Catherine Devine. Catherine is a longtime artist in Roanoke, teaches and sells work around the area and is very involved in this project. So tell us what that is, the Second Sunday Art Market. What's that right. about? Right. Every second Sunday in the Market Building from, from 11 to 3, artists, performers, craftspeople can set up and sell their, their wares here and their artwork. And, and why are we holding these events? Well, it's, it's a two-way thing. It's an economic development tool for the artist. Um, in our arts and cultural plan for the city of Roanoke, we say we're going to look for places that artists can sell their work. And it also will drive traffic downtown to the market building on Sunday. Now, do we have some sponsors associated yes. with this? The city market building is sponsoring us and uh -huh. also the city of Roanoke. And how did this idea originate? I mean, who came up with the idea to have a Second Sunday art market? Well, this is an idea that I participated in years ago when mm -hmm. I was new to Roanoke, and it was just a wonderful experience, and it feels like it's a great time to bring it back. A lot of the friends and other artists and people I've become close to, I met doing these events mm -hmm. a long time ago. So it's a great opportunity to just know who else is working in the arts in the community. Mm -hmm. And to get people downtown on the weekend, right? Exactly. Into, exactly. The, into the market building. Uh, talk about who's eligible to be participating in the second season. Do you want to take that Pretty one? Pretty much any, any working artist, I think, is, is eligible. I think there is a process to apply, but it's a wonderful, inexpensive way to get to expose your new work. If, you have, if, you're, if you've been exhibiting in the area, it's a great chance to show something new that people may not associate uh -huh. with you, but it's great for new, new and emerging artists and art students, people who just want to have an opportunity to see if working with the public is what they want, want to do. That's really neat. So what is that application process? You can talk there about is that. an application process through Michelle Dykstra, who's the market building manager. Um, it is a juried process, so there's a committee that looks at samples of work. Um, it has to be handcrafted and original work. You can't um, sell things that you've gotten at a flea market, for oh. example. <laughs> it has to be your own work. Yeah. Um, but Michelle is the, the um, person who has the applications and takes that information. Is there an overall goal that we're trying to achieve by having these events throughout, I guess it's throughout the end of the year, right? Throughout the year, every second Sunday. Uh -huh. um, I think the goal relates back to our city's arts and cultural plan about making uh, the city of Roanoke a vibrant place and also supporting our artists. We have so many wonderful artists oh, like yeah. Catherine in this region and we want to find ways to help them make a living. Susan, if somebody wanted more information about Second Sunday Art Market, how would they get it? They would contact Michelle Dykstra, michelle at citymarketbuilding.com. Okay, and uh, also People can just come. It's free, right? They yes. don't have to do anything. They just show up they on Sunday. They just show up. We hope people will turn out on Sundays. Um, for artists, there is a $25 charge, but uh -huh. then they get a $25 coupon to eat in the market building. So really, there's no charge. Well, it sounds like a <laughs> fun event, and I'm glad we're doing it. And thank you so much for sharing with us today. Thanks. We'll be right back.